In the words of one of my favorite poets, Brooklyn native, uh, 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 <laughs> Sean Carter, I say, I am focused, man. You know, being focused allows us to not get caught up by the distractions and detours. You know, when we are striving for that goal, when we have a project that we need to complete, when we have certain objectives that we have identified, maybe at the start of the year or the start of the month, but we identify these objectives and we try different strategies to keep going until we complete that task, being focused allows us to minimize the distractions. We could even become hyper-focused. And when we're hyper-focused, it's almost as if we have blinders. We don't get caught up on anything else that does not relate to that task. We become almost at one or we become absorbed in that task. It's almost as if everything around us no longer exists that will allow us to overcome some of the biggest challenges and difficulties and mistakes and accidents. Being hyper-focused for too long as humans, that can become detrimental. Detrimental to us, detrimental to the task at hand, detrimental to those individuals that are in our community. Because if we're hyper-focused for too long, we could then become burned out. Have you ever seen maybe a cartoon or older movie and you see a little kid playing with a magnifying lens? And as they look through that magnifying lens, their eye looks really big and they may start by doing innocent things. They may look at some fine print or look at a small insect crawling, but then those little horns, bing, those little horns pop up and they focus in on a bug and then they take that magnifying lens and they allow that sunlight to shine right through it. And that sunlight they direct on a poor little ant that then becomes ant casserole. Or they may even start a fire. Now remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. The reason that happens is because a magnifying glass has something known as a convex lens. It's almost as if the lens curves out. So what happens when light travels naturally from the sun, it's traveling through, through air, which is gas. That's its state of matter. And then when that light travels through air, once again, which is in the gas state, and it hits that magnifying glass, that magnifying glass is, is actually a solid. So whenever light goes from one state of matter to another state of matter, or in science, we refer to them as, as mediums, when light goes from traveling through air into the solid of that magnifying glass, the light waves bend because their speed changes and it travels at an angle. And due to that perfect curve and due to the shape of that convex lens, it actually bends all of the light waves into the center. So all of that energy that's traveling through the air and strikes that lens, it's all being focused at the center of that lens. And whatever you point that magnifying glass at, it's going to burn out. So once again, that ant will get burnt out. That paper could catch a fire, or if there was some dry foliage around it, it could start to burn and catch on fire. That same concept could happen to us as humans whenever we become hyper-focused for too long, we start to burn out. Whenever we focus on a task for a long length of time, we actually will be a detriment to that task or a detriment to those who are in our community as well as a detriment to ourselves. We too could get burned out. We have to at times just walk away from the task, walk away from that challenge, not give up, but just take some time away. Give yourself time to get away. Recently, I even traveled out of town. I went to Florida and you would think that I went to the beach and went to different stores and restaurants. I didn't. I stayed pretty much with family and I rested. But by the end of that vacation, I felt so rejuvenated. I felt so much more focused because I changed my environment and I almost just unplug from my day to day because we could only be hyper-focused for a certain length of time. It's good to cut out all of our distractions. 
It's good to eliminate anything that does not relate to the task at hand. It's almost like it doesn't even exist. And we get that tunnel vision, we get locked in, we get focused, we're ready to get it done. Don't allow it to be a detriment to yourself or those around you. Take time to unplug. Take time just to, to get away so that when you come back, you could have a fresh mind, fresh ideas, innovative thoughts, and get that physical and mental rejuvenation. And then we could conquer the world. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. I want you to have an amazing day.